A new oil spill estimate released this week. How residents from the Gulf are being impacted by the spill. And the DOE funds small businesses. This is your Daily Energy Report. Hello, and welcome to your Daily Energy Report for Tuesday, August the 3rd. I'm Ben Lack, and I'll be bringing you top stories coming from the energy sector. Leading off, According to scientists in the Flow Rate Technical Group, the oil that leaked out of the BP well reached 4.9 million barrels or 205.8 million gallons. These scientists' previous estimates were between 3 million and 5.2 million barrels, but the cleanup efforts have burned, captured, or skimmed 1.2 million barrels of the oil. Scientists are still unable to account for the remaining 3.7 million barrels, but many are concerned that the large amounts of oil from the spill remain underwater in cloud-like plumes. The scientists' new calculation will help the government decide on the financial penalty that BP will receive for being responsible for the spill, which could reach $17.6 billion. Columbia University's National Center for Disaster Preparedness has interviewed over 1,200 adults living within 10 miles of the Gulf Coast of Louisiana and Mississippi to better gauge the impact of the oil spill. The survey found that 20% of the households have lost income since the oil spill, and 8% have claimed that they've lost their jobs. More than 40% surveyed felt the BP and the President's response to the oil spill was poor. And finally, U.S. Department of Energy Secretary Stephen Chu announced that the Department of Energy through the Small Business Innovation Research and Technology Transfer Programs will grant awards totaling $188 million to 201 small businesses from 34 states. The money will be used to pilot research projects in smart grid, building efficiency, renewable energy, and carbon cycle measurements. This is an important step for the DOE because small businesses are responsible for more than 40% of all the science and engineering jobs in the country. In an effort to improve the electrical grid in New York City, Secretary Chu also announced a conditional commitment of $17.1 million to AES Energy Storage LLC. The company will use the funds to develop a 20 megawatt lithium ion battery based energy storage system that will help balance electric supply and demand on the grid. Generally, power plants use dirty fuels to handle this process, but the energy storage system will cut as much as 70% of the CO2 released from this process. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great day.